This is lesson 8 on iPad and iPhone accessibilities. So I'm going to show you the items you can set in your rotor to come up. So you're going to go into settings. Stop. Settings. Settings. And... A general heading. I automatically lock. So you want to select general and then... Date and time. International. Accessibility. Go to accessibility. Settings. Vision. Heading. And then you need to go into voiceover. The voiceover. On. Button. Settings. Voiceover. On. And then... Use phonetics. Typing feedback. Button. Scroll right down to Rose the bottom. 2 to 13 of 13. And... Speed notification. Net language rotor. Rotor. Braille. Want to go button. to rotor. rotor. Settings. Heading. So now all your options, what you can have the rotor come up with, are on. So selected speech rate. So I have that selected. Then reorder speech rate button. Draggable Safari button. Tables selected headings. I have s headings. Links not selected. Form controls not selected. Tables. Lists selected landmarks. Landmarks. Non visited links. And then. Rows 9 to 24 of 24. Vertical navigation. Same item. Select in page links. Static text. Selected. Zoom. So you can set zoom on it. And I know that you can't use zoom with voiceover except when you have it in the rotor. And Zoom only works, well, that I have found on the internet when you're looking at stuff. Um, you can try to see what else it works in. So you can select that and um, also like words and headings and um, characters, different things like that, that you want to have in a rotor and also depending on where you are and what app it'll only show the items that are available in that app so you can set what, whatever settings you want to set you just tap on the one you want and then I'll select it and then we open up your rotor, it should be there.